Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! And now what are we going to do? There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit, all selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 AM, no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. They're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? You see the alarm system? Found it. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just. didn't have time to call the cops. 
We'll soon find out. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Nobody should bother us now. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. What are we waiting for? Now we're in. Let's get that truck out. end up doing something fun.
You don't have to obey them. You're free. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! With you. I'm with you! I'm with you! We're with you, Marcus! Then follow me! Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Slaves again! We're with you, Marcus! We're with you! I'll help you! Marcus! Violence is the only language humans understand.
hundreds of our people. We did it. Marcus. Marcus, what's wrong? What? They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Now humans will have no choice but to listen to us. They'll be afraid. Fear feeds hatred. I'll take hatred over indifference. against an android shall go unpunished. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Numerous storefronts have been broken with cars vandalized and set alight, leaving many Detroit neighborhoods in chaos. Property was damaged and fires continue to rage in several major districts across the city. The bodies of two policemen patrolling the area were discovered near one of the Cyber Life stores. According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own service weapons. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? 